What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jails. Back again with another one for you. And this time we are doing the beautiful and classic Inseparable recorded by, at least originally from what I know, it could have been somebody else, but the one I know is Natalie Cole. <laughs> and I'd like to give a shout out to SUBAN11, S-U-B-A-N-D-1-1. Uh, he's been a frequent contributor to the uh, tutorials, and I'd like to just give him a shout out. Thank you for sponsoring this tutorial. And um, this one is some jazzy chords, y'all. Some jazzy chords, you know what I'm saying? Some jazzy, jazzy chords. It's real smooth. So we're going to jump right on into it, all right? So on in your intro, you have... Okay, so the intro you have, so you're hitting C and D flat right there. And you're going to hit your C minor chord right here. C, G, C on the left hand. G, B flat, C, E flat on the right hand. So, da, da. Then you're going to hit this B flat up here, and then you're going to go to a F minor 7. F, C, F on the left hand, C, E flat, F, A flat on the right hand. So you got, okay. And then you're going to kind of go, so you can hit that F minor seven real quick. Just hit it again and then you're going to go to this B flat minor seven, B flat, F, A flat on the left hand. B flat, D flat, F, A flat on the right hand. And then you're going to keep, stay on the B flat minor seven with your right hand and put E flat in the bass. So that's a B flat minor seven over E flat. Okay. Um, if you want to, you can take this A flat and go mm, and just hit that G because you're getting ready to play the little melt the intro again. And after you do that, you're going to go ahead on, go back to your da da. Um, yeah, this time, okay, so you're going to play your C minor seven again. C, D flat. You're going to play that melody. Da, da, and then this time, this time you're going to do a, um, D flat. I'm playing a major nine. I wrote major seven on the paper, but. I'm doing D, D flat majors nine. Okay, so the second time, you're gonna do a D flat, A flat, D flat on the left hand, C, E flat, F, A flat on the right hand. Okay, that's an F minor seven on the right hand, an inverted F minor seven over D flat, also known as a D flat major nine. All right. And then you're gonna just hit your B flat minor seven again. And then you're going to put it over E flat again. And then you're going to play, just move this A flat to G. And if you're playing for a singer, that's when you nod to the singer and they can come on in with, yeah. And if they're Daryl Coley, they might take 10 minutes. And, whoa, yeah. okay. and then when they come in, separable, <laughs> you can go to your chord, which is an A flat major nine. Before I show you that, let me just play the intro one more time. So that, um, that's now we're on the verse. First verse, A flat major nine, A flat, E flat on the left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat on the right hand. 
And now what you're going to do is you're going to do a little two finger uh, chord with your right hand. If you purchase the sheet music or you receive it just because you're pledging more than five dollars a month uh, on the chord sheet. It actually I actually typed out right hand two finger chords. And then I said G and C is the first note. So that means you play it together, G and C. And then you're going to go to A flat and D flat. Then you're going to do B flat to E flat. And this is the rhythm that you play. You go, you do it in this rhythm. Like that. Da -da. And then you're going to, um, sorry, you want to land on your D flat chord, but let's, um, before we go there, so you have your A flat major nine, and then you got the. Now that's what you're doing on your right hand. Now on the chord sheet, it'll say left hand single notes, and that's going to be A flat, B flat, C. Okay, that's what you're doing on your left hand. So when you're playing the G and the C on the right hand, your left hand should be on A flat. Okay. Then when you move up to the A flat and the D flat, left hand B flat. And then when you move to the B flat and the E flat, left hand on C. And this is how it should sound. Like that. I'm inseparable. All right. So that's how that goes. And then you're going to move to... Uh, um, you can do D flat major seven, D flat major nine, doesn't matter. D flat, A flat, D flat on the left hand, A flat, C, E flat, and F on the right hand. And then you're going to move to a, a E seven sus four chord, E dominant seven suspended four, E flat, B flat, E flat on the left hand. A flat, B flat, D flat on the right hand. And then all you're going to do, your next quarter, you're just resolving it to an E flat 7. So all you have to do is take this A flat, drop it down to G, and just play the whole chord again. Okay, so you got, um, so from, then you got, like that. You can do it that way. All right. Yeah, you might. That might be the best way to do it. Okay, and then you're going to go back to your A flat major nine again. A flat, E flat, left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat, right hand. And you don't have to worry about that walk the second time. You just hold that for four beats. And then you're going to go to a B flat minor seven, B flat, F, A flat on the left hand, B flat, D flat, F. A flat on the right hand. And then this time we want to do a E flat suspended fourth chord. E flat, B flat, E flat on the left hand. A flat, B flat, D flat on the right hand. Okay. And then what you're going to do on your right hand, you're going to take this A flat and bring it down to G, which, which resolves the E flat chord. But your left hand is going to go to an E flat. I mean, to a D flat, okay? Because you're getting ready to walk down to the next chord. So you're going to go like that. So you got that B flat suspended four, then E flat over D flat, okay? D flat, A flat, D flat, left hand, G, B flat, E flat, right hand. And then you're going to go to C minor seven, C, G, C on the left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat. You can go to your F minor seven, F, <clears throat> excuse me, C, F on the left hand, and then you got to invert it. Um, F minor seven on your right hand, C, E flat, F, and A flat. Then you're going to move to B flat minor seven, B flat, F, A flat on the left hand. B flat, D flat, F, A flat on the right hand. And then you're going to do D flat over E flat. Okay, so that's double E flat on your left hand. And then a D flat major on your right hand. D flat, F, A flat. 
right? And then you're going to do your E flat over D flat again. And we can do it in this inversion this time. Double D flat on the left hand. B flat, E flat, G. The last time we did E flat over D flat, I played the G down here. You can do that, that's fine. Or you can play it up there. Both ways, it's the same chord. Whichever way sounds best to you. Then you're gonna go down to your C minor seven again. Double C on the left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat. And on the first verse, you're gonna be coming out of it. So you wanna do a, a A diminished chord. We're gonna keep, should I do A diminished seven? Yeah, do an A diminished seven chord. So you got A on the left hand, and on the right hand, you got G, A, C, E flat. Okay, then go to your B flat minor seven again. B flat C, A flat left hand. B flat D flat F, A flat right hand. And then you have your, um, I actually know, just go to an E flat, yeah, that's when you just go to the E flat seven chord. Don't worry about, you can always suspend it if you want to. If you want to dis uh, sus uh, suspend your E flat seven chord, all you gotta do is just play this A flat first, and then bring it back down. It's up to you if you want to do that. But on a track, I think you just go straight to it. E flat, B flat, E flat, left hand, G, B flat, D flat, right hand. So let's look at that whole first verse. So you got inseparable. Da 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 da. Y'all know I don't know the words. Da da da. Then B flat minor seven. Then E flat sus. E flat over D flat. C minor seven. Dun, dun, dun. F minor seven. B flat minor seven, D flat over E flat, now E flat over D flat, C minor seven, A diminished seven, B flat minor seven, then E flat seven. Here it is without me calling out every single chord and just playing it. And then you're basically going to do most of those chords again for the second verse. It's only towards the end of the second verse that you just switch it up a little bit. So, so you'll do in. I think it's incredible the second time to go incredible. So so far I'm gonna keep playing until it's different. I'm gonna keep playing until it's different. So we're on the second verse. I'll stop when it's different chords. But so far you're gonna do the same thing you did on the first verse. You got. flat major nine you can do your b flat minus seven then you can do a you can either do that e flat sus that we did before and then walk down to the e flat over d flat yeah just do that again and then go to your c minus seven then f minus seven b flat minus seven now this time, this is where we want to switch it up a little bit. We're going to do the E flat seven suspended. We're going to suspend the chord. So E flat, B flat, E flat on the left hand, A flat, B flat, E flat on the right hand. And then you're going to hit uh, A flat chord. And you can kind of, you know, build it up. If you want to add that nine at the B flat, that's fine. So double A flat on the left hand, A flat, B flat, C, E flat. You can kind of build it up. And then you're going to go to a, 
a a flat dominant seven chord so you still got double a flat on the left hand a flat c e flat g flat on the right hand okay so you're going to build it and another way you can build it is just do different inversions of a flat you can like Come back down and do your A flat seven chord. So that's so you can either just keep pounding on the chord and just and then, or you can while you're hitting that A flat and then come back down for the A flat dominant seven and then um, after that. We're going to go to the bridge. You do whatever you want to do right there, however you want to build that section up. And then we're going to go to the bridge is a um, D flat major seven, D flat, A flat, D flat on the left hand, A flat, C. Um, I'm going to hit the E flat and the F. I'm going to make it a D flat major nine instead because I like that even better. Okay. <laughs> so you got, and then you got, then you're going to drop down to E flat over D flat. Okay, so you stand on a D flat on your left hand. So you're going, and then E flat on the right hand, which is G, B flat, and E flat. And you're going to do that again. Go back to the D flat major nine and come down to the E flat, staying, keeping your left hand on the D flat. Then you're going to move to. C minor seven again, double C left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat on the right hand. And then do your um, A flat seven chord. We'll, we'll invert it this time. You could, if you want to play your A flat dominant seven chord that way, that's fine. It might even be better. So you can do it this way, double A flat, left hand, A flat, C, E flat, G flat, or you can always take that G flat Lay it down here or do both of them. Do that. Oops, I lost my finger. I'm so busy looking at the computer screen, I, I, I lost where I was. There you go. So you got. Okay. So, however, you want to do that. And then you're going to go back and do your D flat major nine again. And then go to the E flat chord. Again, stay keeping D flat on your left hand. Then D flat major nine again to uh, E flat over D flat. And now you're getting ready to come out of the bridge. You wanna do a B flat minor seven, B flat, F, A flat, left hand, B flat, D flat, F, A flat, right hand. And then you wanna do a D flat over E flat chord. I'm doing a D flat added nine. So E flat, B flat, E flat on the left hand, D flat, E flat, F, A flat on the right hand. And then you're gonna to go to the third verse, which is the A flat major nine again with the little walk. All right. But let's go, let's go how that bridge is supposed to go. So from the bridge, so we were at the end of that second verse where you're hitting the A flat. Then you're gonna put the A flat seven. And then you got Right over the E flat and C minor seven, two, three, four. And then you got the A flat seven, then D flat major seven, then put it over E flat or, or put E flat on top of it. <laughs> and then right then, then you got B flat minor seven, then D flat add nine over E flat. And if you want, you can actually hit, hit an E flat major chord, like, da, and then, yeah, you might want to do that. I like that. I didn't even put that on the chord sheet, but yeah, do that. And then go back to the third verse, which is your A flat major nine again. Da, 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 and then do your little walk. Da, da, da. 
to your D flat major nine chord. All this is just like the beginning of the song. D flat over E flat. Oh, that's not what I'm playing though. <laughs> D flat over E flat. <laughs> and then you're gonna do, um, let me go back, let me go back. So when you come, so you got your, I'm gonna go right back cause I don't know what just happened just now. So sometimes you just gotta go back. Da, 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 da. Now you got your D flat over E flat. D flat over E flat again, E flat on the left hand, D flat, F, A flat on the right hand, and then you got your E flat over D flat, double D flat on the left hand, E flat, I'm sorry, B flat, E flat, G on the right hand, and then you're going to immediately go to your C minor seven chord this time, okay, C minor seven, double C on the left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat on the right hand, and then go to your F minor seven, F, C, F on the left hand, C, E flat, F, A flat. Then you're gonna go to your B flat minor seven, B flat, F, A flat left hand, B flat, D flat, F, A flat right hand, and then you got your D flat over E flat chord again. All right, and then you have your E flat over D flat again. No need to keep spelling these out because I spelled these chords out like 20 times already. So, all right, I'm calling them out. E flat over D flat. Then go to your C minor seven chord again. Okay, same way we played it before to F minor seven. Okay. To your B flat minor seven. Same way I spelled it out throughout the whole tutorial. And then you have your, um, we're not gonna suspend it. We're gonna go straight to an E flat seven chord. E flat seven. You can put the G up there. If you rather have that higher sound, it might sound better if you just, so I'll spell this one out cause this is a different inversion of how to play it. E flat, B flat, E flat on the left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, and put the G up there, and that's your E, that's an E flat dominant seven. And then you, you, your ending is basically a, a flat chord, A flat, E flat on the left hand, A flat, C, E flat on the right hand. Feel free to add this B flat to give it an added ninth. And then you got a, your B flat minor seven, B flat F, A flat left hand, B flat, D flat F, A flat right hand. And then do your, should we do it that way? I like that, I didn't say to play that. Now let me stick to what I said to play. All right, so then you got your E flat dominant seven chord again. E flat, B flat, E flat, left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat, right hand. And then you're gonna end the song on the A flat major nine. Okay, A flat, E flat, left hand. G, B flat, C, E flat. Oh. You can always just walk the chord up with your sustain pedal. And when you hit that last E flat, hit the bass note, the A flat. <laughs> that's, a, that's a way you could do it. So um, that's the that's the whole song right there. So the third verse, the way you play it is. That's what you are. And then you're going to go to. straight to that and then repeat C minus seven to F minus seven B flat minus seven E flat seven and then A flat B flat minus seven E flat seven and then 
A flat minors, A flat major, nine. So there you go. Have fun with that, Mr. S U B A N D 1 1. And thank you again for your donation. And uh, I'll catch all y'all on the next one. Peace.